Hey what's up guys Dhruval here with another video and in this video I'm gonna show you how to transform this studio shot into a really beautiful manipulation so let's get started so to create this manipulation I'm gonna use these three images and they are all from deviantart.com so if you want to use these images for practice the download link is in the description so to start this manipulation first of all obviously we have to cut her from the background and for that pen tool would be much better but I'm going with quick selection because I think that will work also very good. So first of all make a really nice selection of her don't be lazy because the better the selection the better the output will be so I'm just gonna make a rough selection for the tutorial and so it seems pretty nice we have covered almost every area. Now don't worry about this hair and stuff, we will uh, take care of that when we put her in front of the background. So till then when you think the selection is fine, apply a layer mask from here. So she is cut from the background. So now I'm gonna bring the background image, this one that I downloaded from DeventArt and this is a PNG file so background is already cut. So that will be really helpful and hit OK. So now put it under her so we can see. So that looks okay and if you look at my original image it is a bit tilted because I thought that looks really nice effect or looks cool. So first of all select your bottom layer press ctrl T and then rotate it a bit don't worry about the side area just rotate it a bit and then select your gold layer press ctrl T and then rotate her too and make sure the angle matches properly take your time. So that's really cool. Then grab your crop tool from here and then crop the unnecessary areas that you think doesn't look very good. So that is okay and then I'm gonna crop it from the top. So this looks fine and then hit enter. And my delete crop pixel is unchecked so if I just drag it again my file is still there. So make sure you have you don't have this option checked. So that looks fine and I'm gonna hit enter and after that I'm gonna just adjust it a little bit and then select your main layer and adjust that too so a bit of adjustment and then the buildings so this is also from DeviantArt and I'm just gonna drag it from here so and if you don't problem have if you have some problem in dragging stuff you can also copy paste them directly that also works really nice. So this building layer is going uh, all the way down and then I'm gonna press ctrl T to make them look big and uh, by the way if you're wondering I'm holding shift key while scaling so my proportion stays back, uh, normal and then match this horizon with this uh, girl's uh, angle and then take your time and make it better. So I think that is still not big enough so I'm gonna make it big again a little bit. So that looks really nice and hit enter and if you're wondering that this one is tall and this one is not so I'm gonna show you how to extend stuff. After that it's time to match her with the background and by that I mean the stuff we left to make this stuff transparent and mask her hair. So this is really easy image all you have to do is right click on your mask and select refine mask. This option is available after CS5 so I hope you have that version. Uh, I'm just gonna do nothing and I'm gonna directly paint over this area a little bit here and as you can see it will take care of it. So that looks awesome and then I'm gonna paint a little bit uh, here so that it looks natural. So that is nice. So as you can see it took care of uh, image really great and in this transparent area I didn't know it works but just the same as the hair if you just directly paint it here it will take care of it and that looks really nice. You can play with the sliders if you want some different output or you want more transparency less or anything and same goes with everything so you can just directly paint here and it will take care of it like it's awesome. So that uh, goes there and I'm just gonna mask it and that looks nice take your time do it carefully so that looks great now now is the time for shadows that we have to paint so that we have a feel that she is actually there sitting not floating 
already it looks nice but we can always make it better so create a layer under your model layer let me just rename it so create a layer under your model layer select your brush and make sure opacity is maybe around 20 20 should be max don't go over that otherwise you will not have very good results now keep take your time and make sure the brush is black because shadows are always black so uh, paint it like carefully and that looks nice and I'm just gonna give it a shape of shadow since I know my sun is going to be from here this area as you can see so I'm just gonna paint a few shadows here li uh, like this and that is great so this is the uh, like big shadows that you can see now the close one uh, that should be more darker so I'm gonna increase the opacity to maybe like 20 30 and then I'm gonna make my brush really small and then let's see uh, I'm gonna paint under her dress really carefully so that I don't have patches so that looks great obviously the more the time you take the better your output will be so don't rush it and that looks nice or okay I don't know so that is great and then uh, create a layer on top of your model right click on that and select create a clipping mask so whatever I paint uh, whatever I paint here will stay only on her it will not affect the ground or background anything so if I paint on her dress like this it will only affect the dress not the ground so that looks great so probably it is some terrible painting of shadows but you get the idea that how you can do this stuff so that already looks nice and you can there are plenty of ways to create shadows so uh, as you can see without shadows with shadows doesn't look very good but we don't have enough time so if you do it properly it will give you some really awesome output now let's see what next we can do so the uh, as we know the sun is coming from here so this side uh, this side is supposed to be brighter so I'm gonna create another adjustment layer and select curves and then if you click here it will also create clipping mask and then if I make it brighter it will only affect the model and if I uncheck it it will affect the whole area so I just want the model to be bright so make sure only model is getting brighter and once that is good then what to do is you make sure your opacity is 100% br of br your brush and make sure you have black color and then you paint away some of the brightness from this areas like this so if I turn it on and off you can see that light is coming from that way and that looks great and it also gives some depth into the image you can also zoom in and then paint here carefully in some areas so that looks beautiful and then uh, if you want some intense effect you can just duplicate it uh, so that is way too much so I'm just gonna increase this one a little bit so already looks pro perfect now all we have to do is adjust the background so the same way as you can see the building is here I'm gonna create a curves layer on top of that so and I'm also gonna make it clipping mask so whatever I do here will affect only the buildings so let's double click here and make it a bit darker let's go back and see what are the settings so I'm just gonna go here and check my settings so as you can see it is a bit darker so let's go here and make it a bit darker and more contrasty so that looks really nice and after that uh, uh, let's take care of this background the surface she is sitting on so I'm gonna select that and create a curves layer on top of that so it is like really normal uh, adjustment layer on top of everything and then I'm also uh, gonna click this option clipping mask so it affects only the ground so let's make it maybe a bit flatter so that it is not very bright and let's make it a bit more neutral so this may not seem really nice right now but once you apply adjustments they work really nice together so that looks uh, really nice to me and there it goes so this stuff can take a while that's why these tutorials are pretty long because it takes time 
so uh, overall it looks good now the time for the adjustments and stuff so let's go back and see what we have done so uh, here as you can see we have some shadows painted this one looks really nice compared to this one because uh, time uh, we don't have enough time so let's uncheck everything so we have our model and shadows and everything so we are okay till here so this looks uh, just same as this one now the sun the fake sun how to create this so what you do is you create a blank layer on top of everything and then select some orange color any one you want so that looks really nice and then make your brush really big and right click and make sure hardness is 0% then click here like this and then put this thing on screen blend mode so temporary doesn't look that great but we will work it out so that looks okay then what to do is you create another blank layer uh, you make sure your foreground color is black and then you press alter backspace so it will fill the black color or you can also use this manually paint bucket tool just same as paint program people are aware of so uh, let's get to the point so this is the blank layer and I'm gonna go to filter blur and sorry not the blur I'm gonna go to filter render and select lens flare and in the lens player I'm selecting a 50 to 300 mm zoom lens select uh, and hit ok and put this thing on screen blend mode and now adjust it here so as you can see we do not want this stuff here so I'm gonna apply a layer mask and I'm gonna paint with black color in this area so we can erase it so that looks great now the adjustment layers for overall color correction so select your where is color balance so that looks nice and I'm gonna go back and check the settings in color balance so till now it looks great something like this maybe this one is a bit bigger the one we are working right now so I'm gonna make it a bit bigger so ah, that looks great now the color balance the game changer which makes your image really great and blends everything together let's start with the shadows we have plus 11 in the blues so let's go here and uh, double click on this option and in the shadows we have plus 11 you don't have to precise every image has different conditions so obviously uh, so that looks great and now let's go back and see what we have in the midtones plus 4 minus 11 minus 13 so let's see plus 4 and then minus 11 and then minus 13 so that looks since we are getting closer and then let's go to highlights so we have minus 41 so heavy yellows so let's go to highlights and minus 41 so as you can see this already looks red and as you can see that if you get lazy like me and if you don't your sh paint your shadows properly they don't look good so this is a live example so don't skip this stuff uh, and rush everything so see this one looks really neat and beautiful but this one has patches so this is a very good example that you should not skip your stuff in starting and uh, give attention to each and every step properly so as here right here you can skip this image and leave it here and this will work but we can always make it better or we can just play around so I just played around and I added a curves so as you can see here we have a bit of curves and then some in reds and a little bit of in blue so what to do is you create new adjustment layers and you select curves and then you add a bit of a highlight in the shadow so it gives a bit uh, details in the shadow you can see properly then go to red and add a bit of a red since the sun is red and we can have some red tone to help our image that looks nice you can also add some magenta right here but I don't think that works really nice and now the blue so you can add a bit of a yellow here and maybe a, a yellow in the highlights and blue in the shadows maybe just play around and that looks nice 
so as you can see first you ready all the make sure everything is in the place and then you apply adjustment layer so it looks really great so this way you can create uh, awesome kind of stuff and as you can see these buildings are not as yellow as this ones so what you do is you create a adjustment layer a blank layer not the adjustment sorry my mistake a create blank layer and make sure you have some kind of orange uh, color the same as this one so I'm just gonna get an uh, orangish color and then you paint here which looks oh really terrible but then change the blend mode to soft light and then decrease the opacity a lot so maybe 20% so if you turn it on and off you can see it gives that yellow feeling and overall look in the image so now the final step and as you can see here we have a really taller image than this one but if I simply crop it as you can see here and then I hit enter we have a bit of a problem we don't have this area uh, in the sky so what you do is you create a blank layer on top of everything then you select your clone tool from here and you make sure you have selected all layers from here and then you hold down your alt key and you click anywhere to sample it something like this and then you paint here and boom that is gone and this way you can create really awesome skies and so this tutorial is done here and if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments and if you like the tutorial a thumbs up is always helpful if you want the future updates you can subscribe to my channel and also check out this really awesome tutorials by tutorials junction so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop